Yeah, I, I think I understand what you're saying. Even though we're therapists, people don't have to come in just because they have a problem. Right. Um, you know, so often people, they just want to know about temperament. People hear about temperament, they go to our website, fortworthchristiancounseling.com, dallaschristiancounseling.com, and they go, there are five temperaments. I wonder what I am. But then what do they think? They think, well, I don't have any problems. I mean, I have a fairly happy marriage. My kids are well adjusted, so I can't go to the Pennywood Center to get a profile. Is that right or wrong? Oh, no, that's wrong. We have all, we, we do several types of counseling, but we are also here, we need to let people know, we are here for those who just want to come in for, to find out what their temperament is and to find out what their temperament needs are. So it's, a, it's important for us to let people know that. So they don't have to come in, but maybe for just a couple of sessions. The first session is intake. Right. Then we do the profile then. And then the second session, we just reveal what the temperament is. Right. And if it's a couple, then of course they would have to come in three times because we go through the temperament. With exactly. Them. It and takes what? How much? How long does it take for us to do a profile? About an hour? An hour. It takes about an hour. So three sessions and they're out the door and they have tools that they have and that we put into their hands that they can, that they're going to be able to use the rest of their lives. Sure. And if they find, if they have more questions or something, they can always come back, you know, later if they want to. Because the door's always open. Now, that's for mom and dad, right? Adults. Yes. Single people? Single people, children. How about children? You work a lot with children. I watch you work and it's really a beautiful sight to see. Tell me how you work with children when you're doing uh, profiles, temperament. Well, you know, they have to really feel comfortable in here. They also have to feel comfortable with me. That's what the toys are for, right? Yes. <laughs> um, and so, you know, I just bring them in here, depending on what their age is, and, um, you know, just talk with them a little bit and let them know that, that whatever they tell me or whatever they want to say, you know, it stays in here. And, um, and it depends upon their age. If they can read, then, you know, they're able to take the profile themselves. If they're like uh, four, five, six, you know, still not able to read or not reading well, that I will actually read the questions to them. And you've actually had a lot of success with that. Yes. And the uh, the accuracy rate is still a little over 92% for you. Yes. So that's good. So you don't have to have a problem to come to the Pennywood Center. If you want to know what your temperament is, if you want to know why you do the things you do, if you want to know um, if you have the right career, because we can tell you that. We can, we can tell you based on your temperament exactly what career you're, that you would be best in. Now, why do people want to know their temperament? What's the reason for that? Well, a lot of times they react, you know, certain ways or um, th they don't understand why they do certain things, you know, why do I do what I do? Um, and temperament need. Them. Yes. Temperament need. Right. Temperament needs will be met one way or the other, yes. either in a godly way or an ungodly way, but temperament need will be met. Yes. And so if you don't know what your temperament need is, you may be meeting it in a less than positive way. That can cause trouble. Yes. But if you meet your temperament need in a godly way, that is a good thing. Yes. That's a positive thing. It's, it, you know, that could help put a marriage back together. It, it has. Yeah, many times, <laughs> many times. in this very therapy suite, yeah. So, uh, you know, it, um, uh, mom and dad come in and they want to just get their, their temperaments done. They're going to learn more about each other yes. than they ever thought possible. Yes. And dad's going to say, that's why she doesn't like when I do that. Mm -hmm. Because her temperament's this way or that way. Or how can I help my wife meet her temperament need? How can I help my husband meet his temperament need? That's important too. Right. And with children, um, you know, they sometimes they wonder, you know, why the child isn't, um, you know, doing a certain thing or, you know, why do they do this or do that? Parents need to know what their children's temperament are so that they can raise them in a godly way and help them. You know, we all have buttons that are pushed. And if we push our child's button the wrong way and try to raise them in a way that is against their temperament, it's really 
harmful. And so they go to school? Yes. And the teachers might react a certain way to them that's and they can't understand why they're not productive, why they're disruptive in class. Yes. We've actually gone to bat for parents and students yes. with uh, school boards, haven't we? Yes. We've done that more than once. We we really battled it out with a couple of uh, a couple of students, but we knew what their temperament was, and we knew that they weren't what the teachers were saying they were. Yes. And so we went to bat for them. We even talked to the neurologist. We went to bat for these children, and they're doing marvelous right yes. now. Mm -hmm. So. You know, for a teacher to have a child's temperament profile right. in her hands at the beginning of a school year, mm -hmm. wow, that's that's like that's like solid gold, yes. because that's going to translate into better grades. Right. So young or old, it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. You need to get in here, Pennywet.com, Fort Worth Christian Counseling.com, Dallas Christian Counseling.com. Come in and meet us, and we want to meet you, and we want to put that tool into your hands that's going to be a life-changing event. Until next time, this is Doc and Linda saying bye-bye.